what's up everybody in today's video i'm going to show you how to install a new heatsink on your nvme um, i ordered one off of amazon it was a 15 dollars heatsink with a electric fan on it and it I, I thought it looked really nice so i wanted to give it a try um and i'm gonna show you how to install this thing this is the exact one that i ordered i got the white and um it, it it looks great and so far so good um so first thing we are going to do is get a baseline test here of what my factory heatsink is doing and i run this test under a load for about four minutes maybe a little bit longer and uh, i stayed at a consistent 40 degrees celsius um we're going to test this after we install it now this is it we're just going to open it up and show you what it looks like again i think it i think it looks real nice for what it is um i will note that installing this thing getting that back mounting screw in is not easy you will need a magnetic screwdriver um and my camera runs out of storage right when i'm doing that and i don't notice till after i get that screw in and there is no way i was doing that again so unfortunately you can't see me do it we missed that part but i just used a magnetic screwdriver and it took me a ton of attempts another thing to note is i had to install mine with the fan facing down right towards my gpu because i wanted the lettering on the front of it facing up but you know $14.99, you, you really can't complain with this thing. I, again, I think it looks super cool. Uh, first thing we're going to do is power down our PC. And now we are going to remove our factory NVMe heatsink. If you don't have one of these, then you'll just have one retaining screw in the back of your drive holding it in. But if you have one, you'll have to remove the two cover screws. Um, mine was not adhered very good. It just is what it is. After that, I'm going to pull out this mounting screw in the rear here. And then your drive will flip forward and you'll just slide it out of there. Bam, that easy. So this is a SN850 Western Digital Black. And it's a Gen 4. I mean, I've had no problems with it. Great drive. So this thing's going to come pre-assembled with these four Phillips head screws. And we're going to speed this up a little bit here because it just takes way too long than what it's worth. So once you get these four screws out of this thing, you will see that it has the thermal pads already attached to both sides and a little piece of tape covering them. So I'm going to put my drive in here with the tape still on just because... You could put this thing too far forward, too far back, so you really have to eyeball what you need to install it. Um, I discovered that my back mounting hole for my drive lined up in between the two heat pipes perfectly, and I'll show you that in one second. So I'm just going to stick this thing in here and eyeball it the best I can. Now I'll show you, if you look down in between them two heat pipes in the rear where the screw goes, you will see the little notch perfectly. And it is an absolute pain in the butt to get this thing in there. That part is not a lie. That's what I read in some of the reviews before I bought it, and uh, then people were not lying. So now that I got a good idea of where it needs to be, I'm going to pull my tape off. And I found it easier to line the the drive up on the top side of this thing first just so i could make sure i got it where i wanted it smack dab in the center enough room to slide it in the slot and then enough room to mount my screw now if you look through those two fin those two pipes right there you'll see my notch so that's kind of how i judged this now i'm going to put the bottom on press it down And now I'm going to run my four screws back in, which we're going to conveniently fast forward. All right, coming up is where I run out of storage. But uh, again, it took me so many attempts to get this thing in here. It, it was a real pain in the butt. 
if you got one of those drive screws that has like the the notch in it for the drive to sit in that that's probably the easiest and a magnetic phillips head and it has to be small enough to fit between those heat pipes same with the screw i started mine in and uh man i i fell at this so many times Conveniently, I edited the video to make it look like I didn't fail at this so many times, but I 100% did. I run out of storage any second now. There was just no way <laughs> I was going back and, and doing this again, man. It was a pain in the butt. And there you go. You missed it, but that's exactly how I did it. A magnetic Phillips head. Now I just have to run my cable for the fan. Now, if you're familiar with computers, you'll know how to do this. If not, you'll have a bunch of plugs on your motherboard. You have to shine a flashlight in there, and they will say SYS fan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So I just looked this over and figured my quickest and easiest path would be down through here and then i'm going to come up in the top and plug it in to one of my fan spots tucks it up under there kind of well for now pull it tight and then i'm gonna slide it in you can only put these in one way they have notches in the top which makes it super convenient you can't really mess it up unless i guess you flip it around backwards and force it on there but got mine on there i'm gonna pull my slack and then that's it we're gonna fire this thing up check and make sure that fan's blowing again it's super close to my gpu but it seems to be working great i don't know if that's good long term probably not but that's what we're rolling with this is the real world so booting up the computer and then we will run another test just to see what it runs at. So we're going to do another four minute test and this thing stays at a steady 30 degrees Celsius. So that's a, that's a pretty substantial jump in Fahrenheit and who knows how well this thing will work long term. But for now, it is, in my opinion, worth every penny. Looks nice, I think, and it works. So. It was a pain in the butt to get that screw in, but other than that, not so bad. I appreciate everybody for watching. I would recommend it for 15 bucks. Peace!